What's up, you guys? It's me, KC. And boy, oh boy, we finally got the direct that we've all been waiting for. One direct that was directly focused on Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Um, so I came into it with low expectations, as usual, because Nintendo is Nintendo. And if they drop the ball, I don't want to be caught with my shirt over my head, trying to pull my shirt off, trying to put on a new shirt. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be walking around with my head stuck inside of my shirt somewhere. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I, I came in with low expectations. So, the first thing I want to just get done and out of the way and talk about is the release dates for these games. Now, I thought that these games were going to be releasing simultaneously, but no, 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 no. Nintendo said that the Nintendo 3DS version will be releasing this summer. I was all like, what? Are you serious? Is this really happening? Like, wow, like, this game is going to be releasing this summer? But it's for the Nintendo 3DS. I was all like, okay, let me go ahead and pick it up. All right, when is the Wii U version coming out? It will be coming out this winter. And I'm all like, oh, no, no, you didn't. No, you didn't, Nintendo. Winter, not even holiday season, winter. Really? Are you serious right now? So the the thing is with the release dates for the summertime, Nintendo loves, loves to go all the way at the bottom of the summer. They love to give you hype, get you hype. They love to get you hype when they say it's the summertime, it's the fall time. It's the winter time or something like that. But it's always like at the bottom of the summer. Like somewhere in September. Like September the 15th kind of summer. It, it, and it irks me. So I'm expecting them to do like the bottom of August. Or like in the middle of September somewhere. You know how Nintendo likes to do. But I'm glad that this game is supposed to be coming out in the summer, but when in the summer? Now, if they say in between June and, like, near the middle of July, I would be stoked. But if they say anything, like, at the bottom of August, I'm going to just slap myself because it's almost like the fall time. Now, for the winter time, not too happy about that. It Winter does not start until December the 21st, people. So, I mean, like, you only have about 10 days, and nobody, nobody really releases their games in December, okay? I mean, have you really paid attention to all of the release dates of games? All the blockbusters normally come out in when? What month? November. So, the winter time starts on December the 21st, and that means it could be in Q1 of next year. So that's probably why they're trying to hurry up and get this 3DS version out so that, you know, we can still hold on to something while we're waiting, you know. But that's that's my only gripe with it, you know, the whole thing and the fact of the matter. But there are some other news that we have to talk about. Um, so... Sakurai just basically giving us all the rundowns of the games. Seriously. He talked about all the stages that they were going to have. And, you know, we were looking at all the different stages that he announced. And then he goes on to say, for all the competitive players, that all the stages have the uh, option to be flat. And I was all like, oh my goodness, now you're making this into a real fighting game because the previous Smash Brothers games, you know, he didn't ever really cater to that kind of crowd when it comes to, like, competitiveness, you know. With, you know, if he's seen what was going on in the Melee scene, and then he would have used that same knowledge and put it into Brawl. But Brawl was just, you know, whatever it wanted to be. But I'm looking at this Smash Bros. game, and it looks like it's trying to cater to the hardcore uh, attorney fans, the people that really like to get deep down and practice in this game. 
So they say all flat stages are optional. You can choose a flat stage on each, just like Final Destination. Um, he was showing all of the new characters. I mean, all, all of the characters pretty much having, you know, their basic move sets. He was showing all of their mo basic move sets for uh, each character. Um, while he was showing that off, he showed off the characters that will be returning to Smash Bros, which one of them will be Zero Suit Samus. And now she has like these jet boots. She looks a little bit more agile. And I like how they kick on this game. I, I like how they kick and punch on this game. They show these little actions and these little, I don't know, these little animations that shows that their kicks and punches have power. If you watch the videos or and whatnot, you will understand what I'm talking about, what I'm trying to emphasize here. Uh, so she looks pretty nice. She looks pretty much, uh, she looks a little bit different, but a little bit more agile. Um, and Samus will not be switching in to Zero Suit Samus when she does her final smash. So that's one of the changes. Also, Zelda, she will not have Sheik along with her. Rather, Sheik will be by herself. And I was pretty ex excited for this. I forgot that I actually wanted Sheik in this game. That was my main character. I was like, who do I want in this game? You know, I didn't really care. I just kind of wanted to see some new people or whatever. I just hope that the game was balanced and they brought in Sheik. I was like, oh, that is kind of who I wanted in a game. She looks agile too. Quick and fast, and they gave her a couple of new moves. And then they were showing a little bit more about the Nintendo Direct in here and there. Um, they showed off online with, for the Wii U version. Um, and they will have a uh, glory mode for the hardcore fans, and then like some type of free uh, easy mode. I forget what it's called. So it's called glory mode and some type of easy mode. Or for fun, that's what it's called. For fun mode and then glory mode. For fun mode is that you can use items or whatever randomly against people online. For glory mode means that the uh, stage will be preset to final destination, no items, and you'll be fighting 1v1 against random people. And I think that is excellent. Um, I don't know if the Nintendo Network has the manpower to... Uh, you know, customize your battles when you're fighting against people one versus one or whatever because it shouldn't be just Final Destination. It should be all the other stages uh, 1v1. If you really wanted to get technical or something, you should be able to choose your own stage since you have the option to make them all flat, you know, and Final Destination isn't the only flat stage anymore. So I don't understand why they didn't do that. I guess it was because of uh, online and hardware limitations that they couldn't do it. I don't know what's going on with Nintendo. Whatever, but they have that mode. Those two modes will be on the game online. And I was pretty stoked that they will be bringing the online fe feature back. And not only the Wii U is going to be having online, the 3DS will be having the online. So I was pretty stoked about that too. So both versions will be able to play online. You know, I was like, what? Because at first they was all like, oh yeah, the Wii U version will be online. And then they were all like, well, for the 3DS, don't worry, it'll be the same way as the Wii U version. This one will also be online. I was all like, what? Are you serious? This is gonna be online too. I thought they were gonna pull a Monster Hunter on us or some other games that are not online for the Nintendo 3DS that boggles my mind as the reason why they aren't online. But yes, they did it. It's online, I'm happy. Just as long as it's not laggy. They said the game is running on 60, in 60 frames per second in 3D on the Nintendo 3DS, but the assist trophies and all that stuff be uh, running 30 frames per second. And that's cool because if you're playing competitively, you don't care about uh, the items and all that stuff. So the last two things that I kind of wanted to touch bases on are the two remaining characters 
that they decide to save to the, you know, at the very end. Um, you went through all of that stuff. We got to see the stages. We got to see the characters' move sets. We got to get some more information on the game that I probably didn't cover, and I apologize, but I'm touching base on the very, very important aspects of what they showed. Um, but they showed off Charizard. So Charizard will be coming back into battle. And I was like, oh, I guess there's no Pokemon trainer. So I guess those dual teams are not making a comeback because I don't think the games or the hardware would be able to handle that. For the Nintendo 3DS, they have to kind of make it equal. They got to figure out what works for both the 3DS and the Wii U. You get what I'm saying? So I don't think Ice Climbers are coming back. And the reason why they split up uh, Zero Suit Samus and Me uh, not Metroid, but Samus and, um, you know, Zelda and Sheik is because of hardware limitations with the Nintendo 3DS. They want them to be identical. Um, and then last but not least, they show Greninja that was from that's from the x and y series so that's a newcomer that'll be um making his way and debut on the new smash bros game he looks pretty sleek and um pretty fast i don't think well i take that back he doesn't really look that fast i probably have to look at the trailer again he just looks like he'll be powerful um a lot of people got upset that uh, <laughs> Greninja was going to be in the game. I was a little bit excited. I was really excited, but I kind of had to step step back and, you know, think about it a little bit. I was all like, uh, you know, I mean, Greninja's in the game and all, but, like, I hope he's not taking up somebody else's character slot that could be in this title. The same thing as Charizard. I don't know why they brought him back. But I'm afraid that he's taking up somebody else's slide. I, I'm just being honest. So, all in all, I thought this was a great Nintendo Direct to give us more information for the Smash Bros. game. The only thing that I have a gripe about is that the Wii U version is going to be coming out probably Q1 of next year. And I'm not, I'm not too happy about that. Q1 means the first three months of next year. And they said winter, winter time, winter. Remember, December is the 21st. Holiday is normally uh, November and December. And they didn't say holiday time. So they said winter. So that means, you know, and, and they don't release games for real in December time. They're not, all the blockbusters normally come out in November. So that means that this game will probably be coming out in early 2015. I'm not happy about that. But the fact that Nintendo 3DS's version of Smash Bros. is coming out this summer, I'm very excited about that. Hopefully, I'm able to chill in a hot, blazing sun while playing this game because I love it when it's hot outside. So, I mean, those are my thoughts. Uh, stay free, uh, Tannis. Because no Ridley is in the game. Yeah. And all the people that wanted Ridley in the game, he's not in. Uh, stay free. <laughs> Phantom. Now, I'm talking about the people on the Gaxis chat. Stay free. Because Wolf, I don't think he is going to make it in. I honestly don't. So stay free, the both of you. I'm glad that she gets, she gets in the game. And I'm glad that... Um, all the stages are flat. The game looks to be a little bit more balanced than the previous games. And, um, well, more balanced than Brawl anyways. And maybe mainly because you did have some kind of top tier characters in there. But I'm very excited about it. Both of them are online, you know, so you can practice for a tournament. I'm very excited about that, man. For the 3DS and Wii U version, I cannot wait, man. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And um, make sure to join the Gaxis chat, www.gaxischat.weebly.com. We have all gamers there for you. It'll be posted in the link description below. And I will see you guys later. Peace.